Hey guys, Chrono, and today I'm bringing to you a time where we had some special exhibitions after our regular tournament, and they were so much fun, so much laughter. I hope you guys will enjoy it too. All right, here we go. All right, so there's our first, first exhibition. Awesome, thank you. All right, let's see how they do here. Now, what's fun about these, these are more laid back. You know, you can definitely have a different play style with an exhibition match. So let's see what the players decide to play. Oh gosh, after not moving for about three hours in the same spot, I just tried to move and my body is not responding well. <laughs> Oh my goodness, are we seriously playing this? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, now this is fun. This is what I'm talking about. We got bottle, wa bottle wa wasps going on with Speedroid. Oh man, let the hype begin. <laughs> All right, there's the Speedroid card. Uh, Tuck a Tomborg or take Tomborg. It's so good. That's a really good card. Okay, then we also have uh, Den Den uh, Daco Duke. There's the yo yo. Oh gosh, everyone in the Discord wanting to get some matches in. Okay, so Speedroid Red Eye Dice. All right, and there we go. Oh my goodness, I almost never see this card anymore. Okay, so there's the Hygota or Hygosia. <laughs> Sora, no. <laughs> All right, Pot of Avarice now. That's going to give him a draw, too, after he shuffles five cards into the deck. I, I got to say, I'm actually pretty hype about what I'm seeing here on the stream. <laughs> I love these other kind of old decks. So much fun. <laughs> See, and this to me is, is uh, my favorite part of Yu-Gi-Oh! Is when players come up with these crazy deck ideas and then just, just showcase how they'd work. You know what I mean? Like, to me, that's part of the fun of Yu-Gi-Oh! Is learning how to build a deck and trying it out with your buddies and just seeing how well it plays. All right, so we got a special summon now, Speedroid Car Turbo. Notice he's building the field, guys. Oh, and he gets out the crystal wave. <laughs> oh, I love it. Absolutely love what I'm seeing here. And I think that's going to be the turn. I don't know, though. We are talking about Obelisk Blue here. So we'll see what he comes up with. <laughs> I don't think Sora is excited about what's happening with him. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal Wing Pass is right. Oh! Oh, he's playing the face! The TCG exclusive! <laughs> I remember when I saw this archetype, I'm like, what? They're giving us race cards? Alright, UA locker room. Oh! Okay, wait, we got some UA stuff maybe in here. Okay, so he's gonna gain 500. 
Oh no, I hope Nexus isn't freezing up or something, because I can't see the card uh, art for that. Oh, awesome, dumb gamers! Oh no! And then we've got the two, the three face downs. <laughs> I know, Nico! I know! Oh, he brings out Appaloosa! I had a feeling! Oh, gosh! <laughs> and, and now he's just gonna go to probably a uh, battle phase soon. Look at this. He's got F.A. Dead Heat here. I know, absolutely, Nico. Oh gosh, look at this. This is bad. There, This is a problem. Hopefully these guys set this to a match. It's okay if they didn't. It actually might be quicker if it is one game, but we'll see. That way other people who want to showcase can get in. Oh, I love this card. This card is so effective. Uh, Win Pegasus, Igneister. It's really, really effective for that reason right there. It gives you that removal. And uh, yeah, this is not looking positive. Hopefully these are some very terrific face downs. Okay, so there's the normal summon. He's not wanting to face the, or test the face downs yet. Uses the effect here. But is he going to negate? He's got uh, Appaloosa. He also has Crystal Wing. Yep. And there's the other pop. Oh, it's just the powerful Reaper. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, that's awesome, Dumb Gamers 22. You know, I have a deck like that that plays super old school. Um, I did not play Yu-Gi-Oh! till I was an adult, actually. Um, my son, he started watching the show, and then we started playing together, and we kept arguing over how cards work. So after that, we decided that we would actually go to a tournament and learn how to properly play. Little did I know that that would take me down this crazy journey. <laughs> into so many different things related to Yu-Gi-Oh! I started watching YouTube channels, I started playtesting all the time, suddenly we had binders of cards, now we have entire wardrobes of cards! <laughs> it's so it's a whole different world. Ooh! Ooh, Nico, I love that! We should do a GOAT tournament, you are right! That would be super fun! Okay, so here we go. Oh, Obelisk Blue, it's the truth, man. <laughs> That's the whole reason we got into this. And uh, it's, yes, I know, Goat would be so much fun. I think Nico has a great idea. Oh, uh, Dumb Gamers, um, the way Goat would work, we would have uh, certain cards um, from a certain format, and it's considered one of the greatest of all time. Oh, but looking at what KC's saying, it might be hard on Nexus. I'll have to look into that. And the reason for that is there's been card changes. So I'll bet that's why that would be tough. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. Look at this from, uh, Sora. All right, we got Dark Dragster. We got Dawn Dragster. He's going to be able to negate uh, uh, traps or spells with this. Oh, that's great, man. I'd love to see your deck, uh, uh, Dumb Gamers 22. Look at this, this craziness. So, speed lift. I cannot believe we are seeing these cards in action right now. And yet, Obelisk Blue still made a Crystal Wing and an Appaloosa and the uh, Igneister card. I mean, how does he do it?
Okay, so there's the activation. Okay, that leads to the special. Oh, wait, that was a normal, I believe. Yeah, so he's going to be able to special summon one level four lower speed droid monster. Okay, there he goes. All right, there he goes getting the red eye dice. Oh, that's awesome, uh, Dumb Gamers 22. Too much fun. Hey, Nico, yeah, that'd be a great idea for Dumb Gamers. Send him a, a video about GOAT format. <clears throat> oh, how fun, uh, Dumb Gamers. That is a super fun deck. Absolutely. All right, so Diablos and... Young Ranchy, are you two trying to set up another duel next? We got to get a line, guys, if we're going to do this. I don't want anyone getting upset. Oh man, Casey Games is confident in his GOAT ability. Uh, he's in the, in the uh, Twitch Discord talking about it. Nico has some stipulations for us. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Two, two crystal wings on the field. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I love this build here. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Obelisk Blue 13. The man is on fire. Somebody cool him down. Oh my goodness. That is, I know, Sora. <laughs> it's like, how does that happen? All right, so who is next now? All right, so is Diablos going against uh, Young Ranchy or is Dumb Gamers going against Dumb Ranchy? Yeah, loser with the mouth. I know. Who would have thought with the card you saw at first, the battle wasp, that it would lead to that board? No, I completely understand. Oh, gosh, you're killing me. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, you've got me laughing too hard over here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Oh, that's absolutely priceless. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay, so Diablos is going first. All right. Guys, is, is that public so I can find it? It is. All right. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, <laughs> Sora... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's it's too much. Oh my gosh. Alright, so Diablos is ready to show off. Now, for those of you who don't know, Young Ranchy, uh, three weeks ago, finished in second place his first time playing in our tournament, and he did it with black wings, which was really fun to see. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I know Sora the two crystal wings with the Appaloosa. And he starts with a battle wasp. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, okay, here we go. Gal Galaxy. Oh my goodness. Oh 
Oh man, I'm sorry guys. That was just <laughs> I can't wait to rewatch that. Oh my gosh. All right, I got to get back into this one. Okay. All right, here comes the next one. Adding the great card to his hand. I believe that's uh Oh, I can't remember its name right off the top of my head. All right, so there's Galaxy Zero. That gives him a special summon of Galaxy Wizard. Okay, then we got a face down. Man, I love our Yu-Gi-Oh! community, guys. If you want to join our Discord and you're watching, um, because we have so much fun, uh, I'm going to try and post a link. That way you guys can see it, if I can get it in there. Because I love our community. We have such a good time. <laughs> Sora stop! Oh my gosh! Oh man. Oh my gosh, just too funny. Oh, there's the kaiju! Oh my gosh! We got the appliance deck! Oh my gosh! Oh, I love it! Oh my gosh! And here comes the next appliance, sir! Oh my goodness! Oh, this is so much fun! All right, so now here comes the appliance or salsa bus. Oh my gosh. I've been wanting to see somebody showcase this deck. Nico. <laughs> oh, young Ranchy, these cards hurt my soul. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys are killing me here. I mean, this is good for me because I need to work out more, and I'm getting a nice ab workout from the laughter. So this is positive. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Stop! Oh my gosh! The post in the Discord! There goes the photon hand! Boy, what an interesting build! The appliances with Code Breaker! I like it! I would seriously love to see this showcased in an actual tournament sometime. Oh! And he's got out the excess Code Talker! And there he goes, using the effect. That gets rid of the kaiju. Um, and do we have game? And there's 30, uh, 43, 28. And is that the 18? Oh, and there it is. Oh, they forgot to set it to two. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. All right. I'm going to check if they want to set it to three. Um, it does not look like the young ranchie was very happy there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is just too funny, folks. <laughs> oh man, I love this kind of dueling. So much fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. This, this, oh my goodness. Oh, man. Okay, they're going to make it into a match real quick. So they'll just, one person will surrender and then the next one will play. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. I, I have to say, this is a absolutely hilarious. I, I'm still like, <laughs> I'm still thinking of Sora's match, though. <laughs> Poor Sora. Here he plays F.A. <laughs> and then he sees a battle.
battle boss, but probably it's like, oh, it's good. Not against Obelisk Blue. <laughs> he makes an apple who's on the crystal <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Oh, man, I got it. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh my goodness, I'm almost crying over here, people. I mean, that's so funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, whoo. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh man. <clears throat> All right, so I am ready for the next one. Let's see if the appliance <laughs> comes through again. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Yes, loser with the mouth, man. I mean, you really, you really put a big smile on my face tonight. All right, here we go. Uh. Oh, so much fun. I'm very happy you joined our Discord. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I gotta refocus. I mean, I can't get over that whole thing. <laughs> Especially when he starts by saying casual duel, right? <laughs> So, Photon Vanisher, Photon Orbital. Oh, man. Now, I'm assuming this is Young Ranchy here. All right, so there he goes. Star Leech, uh, uh, Paladimino. Oh no, loser with the mouth. It was just such a classic moment. I will never forget that. Oh man. <clears throat> oh no, he's gonna kaiju it. Yeah, <laughs> right away. Here's Diablos. I love that card, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of your card. <laughs> All right, so we got a normal summon. Of appliance or copy buckle uses the machine dupe on it here now. Ooh, KC Games, I'll have to check that out. Oh. All right, so he's gonna go ahead and get out two more. Oh. Great stuff here. Again, I love seeing these cards being showcased because they're these new, this new archetype and I thought, who's gonna make something with this? All right, Codebreaker Virus Swordsman now. Now, does Young Ranchy have the interruption? There's Codebreaker Zero Day. <laughs> Okay, so there's the Virus Berserker. All right, there's the Virus Swordsman, zero day. And, and this is looking rough now. Oh no! Oh, and he pops both! Oh my gosh!
Oh, this this is gonna be tough. Is he gonna go right back into the same situation? Making the transco talker? Oh no, no, he's just going straight portal sword dragon. Alright, so there's the appliance to reuse. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Richie, this deck brings me nothing but pain. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a way to put it. Oh. Oh my gosh, you guys are killing me. The power of Ikea. <laughs> All right, then we've got the appliance or laundry. <laughs> Laundry Dragon! Yes, no one likes the Ikea Young Ranchy! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! You guys are a riot! Oh yeah, Nico, I do too! <laughs> yeah, Disneyland, right? <laughs> Feel the power of chores. <laughs> oh, oh, and he does the 3300 to him. Oh, that, oh, that's just so sick. Oh, wow. What a play. Oh, with the appliance or deck mixed with code breaker. All right, Diablos, I need a deck list. That was super interesting. <laughs> If you could send that to me, I'd appreciate it. And there you guys have it. Uh, just our duelist uh, putting up some excellent, quote unquote, casual decks that for some did not seem casual at all. It was so much fun, especially if you were able to watch the Discord. Uh, if you happen to like this video, please hit that like button and we'll see you guys next time. But I wait for your next challenge. I know.